So this question starts out by giving us this equation here. It looks like the equation for a circle with that, um, if you remember um, how those can look, uh, because the circle equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle. So let's keep reading and see if that's the direction that this is leading us down. So the question says, in the xy plane, the graph of the equation above is a circle. Okay, perfect. So the next thing is it mentions the graph of the circle or of the equation, but we don't actually have a graph. So now I'm going to use this plug-in picture idea, which says if the question ever describes something that can be drawn, it's a good idea to draw it. So I'm going to actually graph this circle. So since HK is the center, and for this question, it looks like uh, H is 6 and K would be negative 5, again, because it's Y minus K. So in order to get a plus 5 here, K would actually equal negative 5. So my center would be um, negative, I'm sorry, positive 6, comma, negative 5. So let's just find that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, I do my best to make these evenly spaced. It's not going to be perfect, but if you do your best, it tends to work out better than not caring about it. And then for negative 5, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. So my point is about right there. So that's my center. And then the radius, since the r squared part of the equation is 16, that means, well, r squared equals 16, which means that when I square root it, r actually equals 4. So my radius is 4, so I go up 4 units vertically, so I'd be up here, right, at negative 1, at 6 comma negative 1. If I go 4 units to the left, I'd be at 2, negative 5. If I go 4 units down, I'd be at negative 6, 7, 8, 9 negative, so 6 comma negative 9, right? And then 4 units to the right, I'd be at 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10, negative 5, I'd be here. And then my circle, and again, this is never going to be perfect without the graph, without actual, without actual graph paper. But there's my circle, roughly, okay? And it's, it's pretty good. It's not a perfect circle, but it definitely is where it belongs, given the information in the question. So I did all of that really based upon just seeing this and reading up into this point. So now I'm going to keep reading the question. Point P is on the circle and has coordinates 10, negative 5. Oh, well, guess what? We already found, found point P. That's right there. So 10, negative 5 is, and it looks bad, but I think you can see it, 5. This is point P, okay? P point P is on a circle, has those coordinates. If PQ, PQ is a diameter of the circle, what are the coordinates of point Q? Well, if PQ is a diameter, right? Diameter means we just go straight across a circle through the center, which means if I'm starting here at 10, negative 5, I'd go straight across through the center, straight here. And that takes me to another point that I'd already figured out, right? Which is 2 negative 5, and therefore my answer is choice A.